Hey hello everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for another video of Age of History. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Uh, in the last video, we uh, did we played with the Iroquois in the America sphere, American sphere, I guess. Uh, we did miss out on something that was going on. The Aztec Empire is actually falling apart. It's being the um, it's being beat up by the pill, which uh, seems to be a new type of uh, people or the, the people, I guess. Seems to be a new type of uh, empire that's forming up. I decided for this video to, well, first off, we were uh, gonna hop on into Europe anyways, per my new rules. But I decided to go with the Prussians. It's one of the most modern countries that we kind of know of that eventually will become Germany. We are already at war with somebody. We started at, at war with these guys right here. So we're gonna have to deal with the Goots, which is fine by me. Uh, and the rest is just us. We're going to be able to not only maybe take some territories here and actually form up Germany, but we're also uh, for, we're going to focus on colonizing all this free land that we got around us. So we'll definitely do that, boys. Now, we do start off with a couple of things right here. We start off at war. I also want to make sure that we do get the technology. We focus on the technology and everything. We start off with a lot of points. So let's do our thing really quick. We got Kaliningrad. Uh, Kaliningrad, I do gotta make sure that all my big cities and stuff, that my shore cities have good uh, reinforcements, good uh, play of people and stuff protecting it. So uh, Kaliningrad, does it have everything? It doesn't, so we're gonna give it everything. Over here, we're gonna give it the uh, ports, farms and everything. All the good stuff that we can possibly give it. Uh, same thing for Gdanks. I don't know how to pronounce that name, boys, but I'm doing my best. All right, so that's pretty much that. For Marlboro, same thing everywhere, boys, where there's possibly uh, a, something like we're possibly going to encounter some people, some uh, enemies. We are going to put some soldiers in there. All right, so it looks like everywhere, uh, every single one of our tiles, though, might be a problem. So it might be a uh, cause to a, a war. So it, at least there's that. At least we're just going to get more armies because of it, I guess. So we got the libraries and everything. Let's keep working on all of those boys. I'm excited. Obviously, we're going to confront these guys in the next turn. Start confronting them by sending them to the sea. Sending my armies to the sea and stuff like that. Uh, that's definitely what I'm going to end up doing for sure. We also have all these troops right here. All right, so that's done. Now that that is done, I don't even know if they have actual forces waiting for me down there, but um, I hope not. We do have plenty of points. So what I want to do, I want to make sure though that we are a monarchy. Okay, so we are a monarchy right now. That's fine. I'll keep it as uh, as that for now. I want to eventually get Berlin, of course. That's going to be my main objective. But also, I do want to colonize around. So, uh, while we can't do any, we already know we can't do any wars right now. So, the only thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to colonize around the place a little bit and make sure that we get some some uh, soldiers and everything. Make sure that we just get some more territories while we get the chance, right? So, let's use these points for something, for some good, uh, good stuff, right? To expand our territory. While we can't, uh, the, 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 while we can't attack anybody just yet, so uh, yeah, let's keep moving. Let's keep doing our thing. Colonize a bunch of land, and plus, it's giving us even more soldiers because we do have um, a bunch of new territories. From that, we're bordering at pretty much everyone. These are all tiles that are going to be very important to us. So uh, yeah, let's keep expanding. I'm going to keep going towards that direction, I guess. There we go, keep expanding, and uh, I do have to keep upgrading all these tiles, just because they're all boring people. Uh, not these ones, though. There we go, Th this tile, I don't need to upgrade it. Same thing for this one. So this one, I'm just going to keep uh, reinforcing other places. But this one, I'm going to need to do it, though. Uh, Snow Kim, or whatever it's called. I'm going to keep uh, having to re reinforce it with forces libraries and supply camps i do hope that you guys are enjoying this series so far uh, it's coming up towards its end though because i do have two more games uh, coming up uh, soon 
and uh, that's with the new game that I'm already playing uh, that's uh, Suzerain that is so uh, we've got plenty of games right now that kind of filler games but games nonetheless I want to play uh, for you guys so this is gonna take um, a, it's gonna be a thrown on the side a little bit uh, I'm gonna, probably gonna do two more videos including this one so uh, this one included it's gonna be another video with it and that's pretty much gonna be it uh, for now I think uh, I, I mean if you guys want me to eventually come back I will but uh, uh, I'm not gonna do anything uh, aside from that all right I'm probably gonna cancel it afterwards all right, so we don't have enough points of movements or anything to do basically anything at all. So let's turn to the next turn. Finally, uh, we are going to get some recruitment here and start working uh, once again on the on the place here because we couldn't because we didn't have enough points left. There we go. Imagine we had like 92 points. We spent it all on one turn for colonization. So we're already pretty strong, as you can see, just from that we expanded to 21 uh, 21 territories so that's crazy we've also have so we got this one it's gonna be more than enough I'm gonna uh, send half of my troops it should be more than enough to attack these guys just in case uh, send another half right here and that's gonna be more than enough boys it's gonna be fine as it is we still have the pigs by the way the pigs have this territory I do remember that all right so let's keep moving in the meantime uh, I can't declare war to anybody else until I finished up this war right here. So let's just uh, keep colonizing in the meantime. Let's uh, get this one. Uh, Dogjva uh, pills or whatever you want to call it. I do not know how to pronounce these names, boys. These are basically Polish names or something. They're really uh, in that type of area. So don't ask me how to pronounce those. They're also Russian and stuff. So it's going to be very hard for me to pronounce anything. Uh, we got all this. Yeah, so we're still working on a proper uh, path for the technology and stuff. Okay, so we got an extra technology point. We're going to put it into military upkeep, I guess. It's up at 20 already. Uh, we do have my troops right here. So let's start attacking these guys. It's the only place they have that I know of that we need to take care of. So we're going to do that. And the rest is basically for the points. So I guess what we're going to end up doing. I do want to look around really quick. Do we need to uh, worry about the picks? The picks are pretty friendly to us. And the IST. The IST are not friendly to us. So we're going to take some territories from the IST. I think we're going to go after them next. Let's uh, colonize this one. This land right here. And uh, keep getting more libraries and stuff. I sure hope that we're going to be able to expand as much as possible right here and um, really give the Prussians a lot of territories and stuff. Give them uh, an opportunity to become strong and very good. Okay, let's uh, turn to the next uh, turn, I guess. Did we do it? Nope. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. So we are into the next turn. We're going to attack. We're definitely going to beat them. There we go. It's done. Defeated them, boys. So we can go into the peace negotiations now. Put it at 50 turns, it doesn't matter too much, but uh, automatically I gotta do that. So let's put it at that. Uh, we're gonna only take this, it's the only thing they've got. So send the demands. You're gonna get that, buddy. And you're be you better give it to me. So that's, uh, that's gonna be that. Uh, let's continue to colonize in the meantime. We're gonna send you over here. And uh, you... Basically, you don't, I don't have anybody uh, anywhere to send you. So I'm just going to dispend the entirety of you, I guess. And for the rest, let's just skip to the next turn. They obviously accepted the deal. My dog is crying. Of course, I can't do a single video without my dog doing its thing. That's uh, super great, boys. All right, just hold on. I'm going to have to deal with my dog two seconds right here. So... Uh, let me uh, go ahead and just recruit some people though. There we go. And uh, let me go deal with my dog really quick. All right. Well, everything should be under control. My dog's not a wolf anymore. So uh, we should all right, be all right. Uh, let's continue where we last left off. We have still a couple of points to use. I think we're in the next turn now because we took care of that territory, the, that war that we had. So we can basically do an ultimatum for the IST, which we are going to do. We're going to go right after them, uh, right, straight up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. They've got 10 territories altogether. 
So I think I'm gonna end up annexing them entirely. So let's see if that happens. Yep, there we go. So no more IST, IST boys. We took care of all of them. And uh, now we basically don't have too much to deal with. Let's me uh, actually disband this army now because I don't have anywhere to send them. So now that we got that, I can actually recruit some forces here and uh, work on all the little ties. We've got a lot, of, uh, a lot to work with and especially we got a lot of simulation to do as well. So that's going to be a challenge in of itself. Let's continue to do farms though, libraries and supply camps, all that, uh, that good stuff around the good tiles. Right, so if everything's been dealt with, I'm pretty sure. We've got all the forces right here being built as you can see. I'm obviously gonna try and colonize this as soon as I can. So I think I actually gotta send some troops over there in order to colonize this uh, island. It's, uh, it's an island apart from the mainland, so we're gonna have to do that. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go for income production for the next point. Um, I guess, all right, so next thing I gotta do is send some troops over there. So I, I, I guess I, I'll send them troops right there, half of it uh, apparently for the through the sea. And it should be able to colonize this afterwards. So I've, I'll do that. Next part, we do have enough points. We still have some assimilation to do. I didn't even have enough points for the assimilation. Uh, all uh, assimilate everything last time. Now it should be everything. I think this is all of it right here, boys. So we can't even do anything. So let's skip another turn, I guess. There we go, just like that. We're still working on 80%. And now that that is done, we can actually colonize. There we go, Kurosari, which we're definitely gonna do. Get the island, some ports, and all the good stuff that comes with it. There we go, just like that, boys. Supply camps, just like that. Let's move him up and I guess, yes, I guess I, uh, I'll move him up and I'm actually going to end up moving him up right here so I can colonize this right here. It's going to be a separate uh, island anyways from the from uh, the Finland uh, lens. So now what do we want to do? We have enough points if we have our enemy to one of our uh, pe uh, people that's close to us. We're not. Uh, anybody that's neighboring us right now is uh, kind of friendly to us so I much prefer having to colonize it in a couple lands while we can so I'm, I, I'm gonna I prefer doing that instead so I'm just I'm gonna end up doing that to spend the army and we don't have enough points left there we go now we're in the next turn we have uh, plenty of points to actually start working on the picks possibly boys right so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna start working on the picks uh, I'm gonna actually, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna insult them every single time, as long as, all up until I get to the minus 10 mark, at least. There we go, there we are, we still have plenty of points. So the provinces, I definitely want this one. This is the, this is the main reason as to why I'm gonna go after them, uh, the pigs. I gotta make, I gotta work with my new country now, my new empire, so. You gotta stay on the side, my guy. So, one, two, right here, you give me that. Three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I um, actually undo that, undo that one because I want them to keep that. Um, eight, nine, right here, and ten. All right, so that should be ten. I'll give them that, I'll keep, I'll, take, I'll tell them to keep that right here. I think they can keep it. The rest, I want it. So select that, that's gonna be 10 provinces. You better give it to me or else we're gonna have to go to war with you. All right, let's see what's gonna happen here. They refused, oh, all right. So we are at war with them officially. Let me colonize this one right here. Turov boys, let's get Turov right here. Um, modern Ukraine kind of, I guess, right? If it makes sense. We're getting in that place a little bit, right? We're getting pretty far spending quite a bit can I actually I don't think because of the time we are in I don't think I can actually uh, transform myself into Germany I think you need to be in the 1400s in order to do that so I, I don't think that's a possibility just yet let me see really quick it's a success they didn't have anybody defending this place so that's a massive success right there let me start moving boys so we're gonna start moving I guess about a thousand troops right there. Another thousand right uh, here. Actually half half of them right there. And the other half we're going to send them right here. 
just like that. And you don't need to reinforce anybody. So you can just move all your troops back and onto the sea. We're going to attack with the rest of you. You're going to attack the, the other ones, the other tiles. Uh, let me let me get this right here, Slansky. We're going to get Slansky, boys. And we are going to, I guess, send you over there. Uh, we're going to get Ken CP, uh, Kenji Sep. Going to get some troops and actually upgrade the tile because we do have or upgrade the region. Just because uh, we are neighboring the sea and stuff like that. So, naval ports, boys, very important. All right, the sea. Are we going to attack them? There we go. They basically don't have anything defending themselves uh, right here. They probably have a lot of troops in the mainland. But for now, as it is for the, the sidelines right here, the colonized lands for them in uh, Sweden or stuff like that, they don't have anything. Trade requests with them. What's that trade? Form a coalition against the Picts with the Geats. Accept the offer. Let's accept. Boom. There we go. We officially have an alliance with the Geats, which I don't know where they are. Don't even know where the Geats are, boys. But um, we have an alliance with them. And uh, we both together are attacking the Picts now. So two front alliance, which is very good. Uh, we are at five right here. So let's do population growth. Very important thing to do. Then for the rest, I guess we can send... Let me send back these troops. We're going to form them up together. And for the rest, these guys, we're just going to start attacking like crazy. All these little tiles. And uh, while I'm at it, I'm actually going to start uh, invading. So start invading this tile right here. Send half of them. And the other half, you're going to send them to Copenhagen. Uh, right here, we're going to start invading all of this uh, modern Denmark and stuff. We got uh, plenty of points to spend, so let's keep going for this place this time around. Let's go there, reinforce that tile. And Ostrov, we're going to take you, but we don't have anywhere to reinforce with you, so let's just skip the turn. All right, let's go into it, boys. Let's see if we're going to invade. Yeah, there we go. They really don't have anything defending these tiles just yet. So that's something, I guess. They, they're, giving it, uh, they're making it easy for us right now, that's for sure. Are these the Geats? No, they're not. I don't know where the Geats are, but hopefully they're close enough to help us. Actually help us in the war. Let me send you over there. And we are going to reinforce you with these guys. And at the same time, oh, these are the Geats right here. Where are they at? Oh, are they like... Um, I don't know where they're coming from, actually. Oh, is this the, the Geats right here? Oh, there they are. That's the one. It's the little guys right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they want some lands, actual lands in the, in this place. So that, that makes sense. And we got a coalition, right? So we can form up. Let's do that. Let's form up. We got a coalition going with them. So we can actually get to their tiles as well. We can uh, enter their tiles, which is very good. Uh, we are going to form you up, both of you together. Into one single unit for this, uh, this tile right here. I think that's pretty much it. Let's keep it. Uh, let's keep it moving, boys. I think uh, to make it look a little bit more clean, we're gonna take this tile right here and uh, spend the army. There we go. And we got uh, just enough for another tile to take. I'm gonna take uh, this one right here. And same thing for this one. We're just gonna spend the army. Can't do anything with that tile. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Boom! Just like that. Audience has been taken. Uh, we've got all these troops forming up together. We're going to start to uh, continue to invade. Uh, can you to form up? They're doing a pretty good job themselves taking some territories and stuff. Uh, on my side, I'm going to keep exploring, keep expanding over there. And that's all I can do for now. So um, I guess keep moving, really. Keep moving. I'm, I'm going to keep uh, colonizing towards that uh, area right here. So disband the army. And uh, same thing for you right here. You go there, but I can actually send you somewhere. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, we are expanding quite fast. And we have about five, six minutes left to the, for the video, boys. So we got enough time to, to do plenty of stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to do uh, what I wanted to do with this country, though. Which is taking Berlin and reunited Germany. But... I mean, we are going to do plenty uh, of things, I guess. We're going to destroy mostly the picks as well, which is very good. So let's uh, split them up in half once again, just so they can get some more territories uh, at one go. And we're actually 
I'm gonna reinforce both of you together just so you can get together a little bit right there so let's do that uh, for the next part I think uh, we're just gonna have to use our points once again so um, do we want to go into the south even more or do we want to go in the north I think the north is more important for us right now so let's go for the north right here to spend the army just like that so Rusa is definitely in mainland Russia now uh, definitely uh, that's the place that we are in so uh, we are gonna colonize I can't even colonize this so we're just gonna have to um, actually plunder or not plunder but defend this army right here okay let's see what we got over here I mean, about to invade them, boys. Just like that, we got Vigard. Renders is ours. All right. Let's uh, get uh, the, the true troops right here. Spend them together. Send them together. And these guys. Um, it looks like the geese are doing a really good job. The picks are really undefended. I don't know why they refused. If they if they thought they could defend me. I mean, if, a peep, if some people refuse to attack me. You would think that um, that would be because they, they couldn't attack me, you know, they, uh, they they were actually stronger than me or something. But I don't think it's the case, I think it's just them being jerks and stuff, or just being too proud of themselves or something. Too proud to actually uh, surrender the little lands. I wouldn't have gotten against them afterwards, I would have left them alone, I just wanted that one last single tile. And for some reason they refused. Alright, so we got the possibility to get St. Petersburg right here. It's a possibility to get that, boys, which kind of tempted to do, to be honest. I really want to do that. and um, But I think expanding on the south would look a little bit more prettier for us right now. Then again, I kind of feel like I want to not go towards the south too much and actually start getting all of this for myself. I think I'm going to end up doing that, to be honest. So let me actually first get Volkov. I'm gonna get that place first and uh, we are gonna get the farm sports and uh, all that good stuff as well because even though it's a sea that's basically a dead zone right here it's there's no uh, a, a outside point uh, from it I'm still uh, gonna um, reinforce it and stuff so you are gonna you're gonna go here and start going to the sea same thing for you you're gonna go into the sea I think we're going to reinforce all my troops that I had on the battlefield. And I'm going to let the Geats deal with the this land right here. They, we don't need to deal with that. Uh, we're going to go to the mainland and deal with the picks themselves into their own land, uh, home land and stuff. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, for the rest part, uh, the rest though, let's get St. Petersburg, boy. So it's officially ours. We got that for us. Libraries, supply camps, all that good stuff. I'm kind of tempted to get it to be my capital and stuff, but since we are the Prussians, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to keep Kalinin, uh, Kaliningrad as my capital, to be honest. I, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Over here, I think, uh, keep going for uh, here first. We're going to reinforce our borders over here uh, before going there at that pla in that place. So li library, farms and ports, like the usual. There we go, it's done. We're still working on the 80%, yep. All right, let's take a look real quick. My troops have formed up. Yeah, the Geats are really taking a lot of territories, the territories fast, so they are uh, dealing a lot of damage to the picks, which is very good. They're doing their own thing. They're very helpful, actually. It's a very helpful ally. Uh, I like that quite a lot, boys, so might just end up doing that. And all I want really is to, for us to be able to take what we got right here. All the little lands we got that's all I that matters to me I, as long as I get to take that I'm gonna be fine so I don't need to necessarily um, the, uh, the annex the entirety of the picks right here I just want them to give me what I wanted you know that's all I want from them we're gonna definitely do that for the rest I think maybe connecting these two tiles will look a little bit better so might be tempted to do that let's uh, let's go ahead and do that really quick we're gonna connect these tiles boys the libraries farms make sure that you get ports around the 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 seashore right here you know we can't get out of it still a sea boys so i still gotta do it all right let's do the next turn just like that before we get into the colonization part we're going to start uh forming up our plans of attack so let's send um about a thousand troops 
a thousand and uh, three, thirteen hundred troops over there to Norwich. The next, uh, I guess, half of them are gonna go to Lincoln. There we go. And the other half, last half, is gonna go to uh, Kingston, boys. Let's invade Kingston. All right, so we're gonna get all of that. They're basically big capital as well, so that's gonna be very, uh, very good for us. We're gonna get uh, Sorovala. We're gonna get that. Get some troops over there as well and uh for protect this place as much as possible get the, all the supply camps so we got one more point enough points for one more towel we're gonna do that get this uh that place we're in there and i am not gonna be able to pronounce any of those names boys these are finland's names right here so finnish names so i'm not gonna be able to do anything about that all right so let's see norwick has been taking lincoln and kingston as well so we are in the mainland right now. We're officially in the mainland. They cannot do anything about uh, this invasion. They're basically useless at this point. Uh, they can't even defend themselves uh, properly. We're going to split half my troops right here as well. And send the other one in Sutherland. Sunderland. We're going to invade as much as possible from the picks. Just so I can probably, you know, uh, create um, England eventually. You know, I could probably create England by actually defeating the picks liberating that, that country just like i did with um greece and stuff right so definitely going to do that colonize these little lands the the shorelands and stuff like that definitely want to do that uh i do want to connect uh, the as much as possible i want to connect with uh this little island that i got earlier on so i want to make it a bit more prettier for sure boys so farm sports all that good stuff let's make sure to get those there we go the supply camps Still working on the 80%. Yep. All right. Let's go to the next turn. We got uh, we got uh, Ipswich, Cambridge is ours, Manchester is ours, and Liverpool is ours. Sunderland as well. And now they're starting to attack us. So they did have some troops over London. Uh, really minor troops. Nothing to be uh, oming about. Uh, nothing crazy. So let's go take London. We're going to take Oxford as well. Let's get uh, Le Leicester. Leicester. Uh, we're going to split up some forces here. One of them is going to go to Worksham and the other one to Birmingham. And uh, let's send the other uh, troops to Newcastle right here. We're invading big, big time while the Geats are taking care of this whole land situation. Uh, while we do that, uh, they do that. I'm taking care of the colonization part over Finland. So we're still uh, working on all these tiles. The Prussians are going to be very strong. I wonder, I'm probably going to be stronger than the actual Iroquois boys. I'm managing to take a lot more territories or, or tiles than them. So get the Pori right here. Get Pori and uh, get some forces right here on that on it. And we're basically coming up towards the end of the video. So I want to make sure that we are at peace uh, with whatever is going on there. I want to make sure that we are at peace, boys. So we're going to end the next turn right here. Make sure to get London, get Oxford and all that good stuff. These territory is really quick and okay so there we go so we're gonna make sure to do that and uh make, make sure as well to get economy growth working on good let's to continue to invade for now just for now because officially we're still at war right so but i, I want to keep going right now i want to start um maybe thinking about a peace treaty and stuff i think that would be the best course of option let's split them in half just get as much territories expend it as much as possible right there all right, so what I want to do, I obviously I want to make peace with them. I want to make peace with the picks once and for all. Uh, that's not where I go. I got to go on this one right here. There we go. So we got a lot of casualties. They lost about uh, 1k soldiers, 1k of casualties to 400 on our side. Let's see what we got. So what can we take on our side? We can take this. So that could be one, two three right there four five six seven eight nine and ten so we could take all of this which we are going to do we're going to take all these lands that they have and the rest i'm actually going to ask them if they can't uh liberate anything so let's see if they can't liberate anything at all we got plenty of points so liberate ulster uh ulster leinster as well maybe ulster is going to take a lot though I'm going to do it. Uh, let Tell you to liberate Ulster. 
There we go. Uh, liberate old store for sure. Release a vassal. So that's done. And uh, we got enough points for maybe another one. Or two of them actually. So line, uh, line store I can't do it. But if I do uh, two others. Like can't for example. Uh, I can do can't. And I can. I can do the, these guys right here. I can do these guys. There we go. Just like that. So we're going to do that. I'm going to send some dem send the demands. It's going to take uh, 50 turns for, of truce. We're going to do that, boys. And uh, with the points we have, colonize. Colonize uh, everything we got. We're going to send some troops for reinforcements, I guess, uh, on that tile right there. And colonize this land right here and uh, reinforce that place. All right, let's see. Uh, we are about to... Okay, let me just make sure that we go to the next turn right here. There we go, just like that. Boom. Taking everything because we are still we were still officially at war, boys. But um, are still at war right here. No, they accepted, but we are still at war officially because we're still in their mainland. Oh yeah, we're still in the mainland. Oh okay, all right. So I can't attack them if I want to be at peace with them. But you know what? The rest, though, for the rest, I think we're fine as it is. We're gonna save it right here. I think we're fine as it is for the rest, boys. Uh, we did end up getting Ulster liberated I'm actually gonna make sure to liberate the vassal so liberate it and uh, same thing for whoever's there whoever else I liberated I don't know who I liberated let me make sure that I look at it look it up really quick I don't really see who I liberated where are the other ones I don't know I only see Ulster whatever boys I guess guess it's fine uh, we do have plenty of assimilation to do though. Yeah, we got a lot of those to do. So let's make sure that we do that. There we go. We're assimilating as much as possible, boys. For the rest, I don't care too much. I'm not going to work on anything. We're going to leave it right here. I'm actually going to save the game right here just to make sure. Uh, Rome, as you can see, is making a little bit of a comeback here. It's actually coming back. Uh, the Morse are doing all right. The Cascani is having all that. Yeah, Roman's still alive somehow boys Odrija split in two so we got a lot of stuff going on we got a lot of territories for the Prussians itself let me just go to the next turn right here just because it's saved there we go so we got a lot of stuff going on as you can see and uh, we also have over here for the Iroquois they didn't move too much they don't have anything going on the people are basically are destroying the Aztec. The Aztec are about to fall apart, boys. Uh, they're about to fall. So that's one empire that's not going to be there anymore. So there's that, I guess. So we all of that, uh, we got to St. Petersburg. The Picts are basically getting destroyed. My former places that I actually worked on, boys, are not doing too good. So where are we at right here in the rankings? We are actually fifth place. I believe uh, one two three four five yeah we're fifth biggest empire in the world with the Prussians at 86 provinces uh, we've got the people right above us so they actually really destroyed the Aztec altogether they took over them big time Gascony is still in there the Morse of course and the Kanju the Kanju are super big look at that they're destroying the Han every single one of the territories or uh, not the Han, but the Chang, they destroyed them. So every single one of the terror, the places that I went to, except from the Iroquois so far, are in trouble. The Morse as well are doing alright, I guess, but remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.